What you guys got another video uninstall microsoft edge in 2024 should you uninstall it we're going to go through this and show you basically how you can remove it from your computer but there's some things to take into account before you start going ahead and doing that now first off if you're in the eu you can uninstall microsoft edge but if you live in the us or anywhere else like the uk you can't another thing to take into account if you start force uninstalling uh, the Microsoft Edge from your Windows system, Copilot, some stuff in the Windows Store, a few other things that depend on Microsoft Edge to be installed on the system to work correctly. So be careful. The second thing you need to do is make sure that you've got a browser installed on your computer, i.e. Uh, say Google Chrome or Firefox or one of those other browsers. Now, if you go into your app setting here and installed apps, You'll see uh, Chrome is already installed. I've got it installed on here. Now, I live in the UK, and we don't get the option to uninstall Edge via this method. We just can't. And this is it right here. So if we go to the three dots here, you'll see that uh, you can't uninstall this via this method. So you have to use alternative methods if you want to do that. I personally don't recommend uninstalling edge at all why I, I recommend people just leave it on their system and just don't open it just don't use it unfortunately that means it will be on the system and will be running you need to also make sure that you make your browser of your choice the default browser before uninstalling edge this is uh, essential to make sure everything is working okay so i'm going to go ahead and remove edge here now i'm only showing you this because a lot of people always ask me about uninstalling Edge. So I wanted to make a video showing you I don't recommend doing it. So for all those haters that are going to jump in the comment section, uh, crack on. So here we have uh, our browser. So I'm going to go to Wise Uninstaller. And we're going to download uh, the application. It is a free app, so accept the terms and conditions here in Google Chrome. And download Wise Program Uninstaller. And this is it right here. It says free. So we can go ahead and click on free download. So download the application. You'll see a bunch of pop-ups here. So we can just click on the installation file. And this will open up here. Say yes to the user account control. And this program will pop up. Accept their terms and conditions and install. Once we do this, uncheck this box here and click finish. And that's it. The program will open and you can now say yes again one more time and there's the application so from here we can start to uh, see edge in our list so let's go ahead and highlight edge and you should see it open here now you do need to do a force uninstall here so we're going to go ahead and do a force uninstall of microsoft edge now of course it goes without saying you should be creating restore points on your system and also making sure that you do want to uninstall edge because there is a risk so let's go ahead and uninstall it and now you need to select all here and we can then remove all of the remnants that are left behind. So let's go ahead and click on remove. And this is going to go ahead and remove all of those remnants right here. And we can click OK. We're not done yet. There's a few more bits that we need to remove. Now, also, you can see here there is Microsoft uh, OneDrive and a bunch of other stuff which you can uh, uninstall as well. And there's loads of other applications. You can select all here and click remove. But we'll concentrate on Edge, but I just wanted to show you that you can uninstall other applications that are uh, forced on you by Microsoft and you can't get an uninstaller for them. So you can use Wise Program Uninstaller to uninstall those. Next, we're going to go to Browse Extensions and click on Edge here. And we're going to need to remove these ones right here because these are part of Edge as well. So let's go ahead and click Uninstall. And now that's done, we can go to Internet Explorer and you can see there's a couple of extra ones here which are related to Edge. So we're going to click Uninstall here and that's now done. And we can now move on up to the next section, which is Metro Apps. There is some apps in here that you need to remove. So let's go Metro Apps and you can see it here, Microsoft Edge, which is to do with the Metro app. So I'm going to remove this as well and you can click on Safe Uninstall or uninstall up the top, depending on how you want to click on it. So let's just click on this one here and let's remove it. And that should now be removed from your system. Now, like I said, there's some other ones on here like Cortana and some other applications that you might want to uninstall 
on your computer, you can go ahead and remove what you like here. Again, when you're removing stuff like this, uh, there's always a risk that something breaks your computer. So removing Edge is always a bit of a risk. So I personally just leave it alone because I know that it's uh, embedded in the system and Microsoft want you to use it. Another thing to take into account is when you uninstall something like Microsoft Edge, there's no real way of stopping it coming back. Yes, there's registry uh, hacks there which you can put into the registry, but they don't work anymore and you're not going to be able to stop Microsoft from, uh, you know, forcing Microsoft Edge on you again onto your PC with a next update. Another thing that you need to be very careful of if you are removing Microsoft Edge from your computer is during the update process where it tries to put Edge back on your PC, because you've removed it, there could be a possibility of some sort of error that you get where you get caught in some sort of uh, install loop where it can't install and you end up with an issue. These problems can arise when you remove programs that are not meant to be removed. I'm not saying that will happen. I'm just saying that it's best to understand that it could happen and these are the risks that you take when you are removing such programs like Edge. And again, there is some key components inside Windows that need Edge. For instance, like I've said, Copilot and other AI stuff. So it's advisable just to leave it alone and leave it on your system and just don't open it. But if you go into your settings and apps and inside here, you will see that there is still two areas, which is called Microsoft Edge Update and also Microsoft Edge Web View 2 Runtime right here. I've noticed in the past, if you force uninstall these, you can then start to run into other issues. And with the Microsoft Edge update, there is a registry hack that people talk about, but that doesn't work anymore. So if you look at the task manager here, you can see the Edge is not running inside here, and it does work okay. Everything seems to be working okay with this sort of uninstall. But again, like I've said, when it comes to Edge, you've just got to be a bit mindful about Microsoft telling you not to uninstall it or it doesn't come with an uninstaller. Yes, they've offered it for the European people, but that's only just taking out the small browser part. It's not actually removing all of the other gubbins that comes with uh, Microsoft Edge. So for all those people that like to live life on the edge and just remove uh, key components of Windows and take the risk, that's basically the method that you can use to remove or uninstall Microsoft Edge from a Windows 11 system. You can also use that method on Windows 10 as well. Also, like I said, do this at your own risk. I would personally just leave it on the system and not open it and uh, everything should be fine. Anyway, with that said, that's just going to be about it for this one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.